Hi everyone, my name is Leah Kopke and I'm a 3D motion design freelancer. In each one of these episodes, we go over another 3D modeling tool for Cinema 4D. And today's 3D modeling tool is called Smooth Edges. So let's jump into Cinema 4D and show how it works. So here we are inside of Cinema 4D. Uh, and you probably know what we usually do now if you've been here for a bit, but we're going to make sure that we have our lines on for 3D modeling so we can see our edges. I'm going to hold a click on this cube and navigate over to our sphere primitive and drop that in. I'll change our sphere to be a hexahedron so that we have a little bit of different geometry happening there. And then we'll either hit the C hotkey to make this editable or we'll just click this icon here. You can do either. I'll click that icon there. And I am in polygon mode. I'll select these polygons right here and I'm going to make a hole in the sphere to show you how this tool works. So now that we've made a hole in here, I'm going to go over to edge mode and I'm going to use the hotkey UL, which we covered previously when we were going over how to select loops as well as how to make loops with the loop path cut tool and the loop selection tool. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below in case if you want to learn all about that. But we're going to click that loop there. And you'll notice that this tool, Smooth Edges, we can find it here under under Move. So under the Move menu, you'll see Smooth Edges is right here. And next to all of your tools, you can see if the tool by default has a hotkey set to it. And you can see that there is no hotkey set for smooth edges. You can create one for this tool if you'd like to. Another option, and the one that I'm going to do in this case is, I'm going to actually click out of here and then I'm going to use Shift C. And I'm just going to search for this tool in the commander. So We'll look up smooth edges by just typing that in there. And you'll see there's an option for it in a node. We aren't going over nodes yet. We will eventually. I think it's first good to just cover all the tools by themselves. So I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to drag and drop it over here so that it's a part of our UI and we don't have to go up to that menu every single time to use it because that takes a lot of time and no one has time for that. So we put that over in our UI and now we can click on our tool in order to activate it and it will turn purple so you know it's activated. And if you drag your mouse, click and drag your mouse to the right, you'll see our iterations start to change. And the higher the iterations you have, the smoother this will be, these edges. So Smooth Edges tool, despite its name, it actually works in point mode, edge mode, and polygon mode. And it reminds me a little bit of the iron tool that we covered previously that helps smooth out your geometry. I'll leave a link to the iron tool tutorial in case if you'd like to learn about all the settings for that one. But for right now, let's just show how this works. You can use the slider here or click and drag and you'll see this smooths out and you can see the iterations are increasing on the right hand side in our attribute manager. So it smooths it out to be a circle. If you move your mouse to the left, you'll decrease those iterations to the right, you increase them or you can just use that slider when you have real time update on, it will update in real time. You'll notice that we don't have select outline as an option right now and it's grayed out. And that's because the edges are already selected. But let's say we hit undo. And instead of selecting that loop using edge mode, what if we selected it using points? 
So I can use the hotkey UL again and we'll select a loop of points. So now we have our point selected. We can click on smooth edges again. And this time, select outline is no longer grayed out. We can select that right there. And there's different ways you can go about this. You can again, click and drag your mouse or you can choose a number of iterations and hit apply. So we'll do it a different way this time, just so you know all of your options. So I'll hit apply. And now since we have select outline on, if I were to change modes from point mode to edge mode, you can see that we have those edges selected. And again, that might be useful if you want to extrude those edges or something like that for 3D modeling purposes or whatever you'd like to do, you can continue to 3D model based off of this. Maybe you make a spider. I don't know. You can 3D model whatever you want. Anywho, let's move on to what else you can do with this tool. So I mentioned earlier it works in polygon mode, but let's make something that's kind of a crazy shape for us to fix. So I'm going to drop in a plane here. I'm going to make it one width segment by one height segment. And I'm going to just scale it down a little bit. And I scaled it down using the T hotkey, by the way. T is for scale. If I hit T, you can see our axes change how it looked a little bit, and then you can scale it by dragging your mouse and clicking once again. And then the E hotkey is for moving, and we can move this over to the right. And now that we have this moved over to the right, we can select this edge after we make this editable. So we need to make this editable in order to select any edges and model off of this plane. So you can again do that as we did before by clicking this icon here or using the C hotkey, whichever you prefer. And now we can select this edge. And if you hold down control on PC or command on Mac, we can start moving these and extruding these edges by holding control and moving these arrows. So that's what I'm doing. And we are 3D modeling this kind of shape here. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to show you how powerful this tool is. So this is kind of a weird shape and we can select these edges here. So I used UL again, I'll select here and I'll select this loop here. And now that we've done that, we can use smooth edges here. And you can see this is a weird shape and how easily this tool just smooths out that geometry. It is a powerful tool. I'm going to hit undo again. We can do the same thing with polygons. So this time I'll use our hotkey UF and that's the hotkey for fill selection. And I'll leave the link to that tutorial on fill selection down below in case if you are jumping into this series in the middle and you haven't learned about that. And I'll use UF in order to select all of our polygons. And now I'll use smooth edges once again and I'll drag this to the right and you can see it's smoothing out those polygons. And it smooths it out into what looks like pretty much a perfect circle almost. It's pretty incredible. And you can actually over smooth things a little bit. So, you know, keep that in mind. But if we still have select outline, so if we go back into edges, you'll see we have our outline selected. So again, this is just a helpful tool for smoothing out your meshes. It's another option besides the iron tool. And depending on what you're doing, you might find it easier to use this one sometimes, and you might find it easier to use the iron tool sometimes. It just depends on what you're working on and what's best for your 3D modeling process. And I truly believe that there's not one right way to 3D model. There's a ton of right ways to 3D model, but if you learn all the tools, you can find the fastest, most efficient, best way for you that you enjoy. And that is why we have this series. 
So I hope you enjoyed learning about this tool today. And if you'd like to learn more 3D modeling tools, you can be notified by hitting the like button or the subscribe button. And that of course helps me out too. And I always appreciate it. And thank you for spending some time 3D modeling with me. And I'll see you again next week on Ambient 3D Animations.